Sticking with local politics, it's the final day of the National Assembly's extraordinary session, but not much progress was made in terms of passing contentious bills. According to our Shin Zemin, rival lawmakers continue on pointing fingers at each other for failing to come to an agreement. Take a look. The National Assembly held a plenary session Friday with some 50 non-contentious bills, including a resolution denouncing North Korea's fourth nuclear test adopted by the Parliamentary Committee just a day ago. But the Parliament could not avoid ending the extraordinary session empty-handed, with nine of the hotly debated issues failing to be put on a vote during the plenary session. That means no progress on major contentious issues, including bills on improving the service sector, counterterrorism, the five labor reform bills, as well as redrawing electoral districts for April's general election as rival lawmakers continue to play the blame game. The main opposition party was too focused on its interests, leading to indifference and irresponsibility on the public's livelihoods. Our party is ready to handle economic reform-related bills, but the ruling party is dragging its feet on the issues. With less than 100 days remaining before April's parliamentary election, the redrawing of the electoral map remains a crucial issue. Kim Denyan, the Deputy Secretary General of the National Election Commission, submitted his official resignation, taking full responsibility for his inability to finalize the constituency map. After multiple rounds of discussions, the subcommittee of the NEC failed to decide constituency boundaries for April election, making the 246 constituencies across the country legally invalid starting New Year. The issue of the electoral map will be dealt with at the Parliament's provisional 30-day session that begins on January 9th. But with no guarantee of progress, it could take some time for the National Assembly to win back the people's trust. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.